At a mental ward, therapist Dr. Rose Cotter meets as of late conceited patient Laura Weaver, a PhD understudy who saw her teacher pass on by self-destruction. She professes to be the main one to see an element that claims to be others grinning at her. Laura has a fit of anxiety and shakes. As Rose calls for help, Laura grins at her prior to slitting her own jugular with a shard from a messed up jar. Following the self-destruction, Rose observes a weak patient named Carl grinning at her and yelling that she will bite the dust. At the point when she arranges for Carl to be controlled, Rose out of nowhere sees that Carl had been sleeping the entire time. Worried for Rose's psychological prosperity, her manager, Dr. Morgan Desai, gives her a took care of week. The powerful events keep hurting Rose's associations with her life partner, Trevor, and her sister Holly. Rose has had a stressed relationship with Holly since the demise of their harmful mother, who went too far and whose body was found by a youthful Rose. At her nephew's birthday celebration, Rose's present is some way or another supplanted by her dead feline, which had vanished the prior night. Rose experiences a specialist grinning at her. It is presently reviled to persuade her she. Finding that Laura's teacher was grinning at her during his passing, Rose visits his widow Victoria, who guarantees that her better half began acting distinctively subsequent to seeing a lady bite the dust by self-destruction. Rose, Rose visits Carter. her ex, Joel, a police criminal investigator who had answered Laura's passing. Else who's seen it is dead the two go through police records. In numerous cases, somebody experiences I've powerful hauntings prior to committing suicide or grinning prior to giving the hauntings to an Observer, causing a tumor yeah. response. Joel finds that one of the five casualties last longer than seven days, with the exception of Robert Keller, who was in jail for pouring out Carl. Rose and Joel visit town under the misrepresentation that a Another patient of Rose's has been killed. Yeah. The worst way to ever break the chain is to kill another person. The former terror to whom they were violated. Later on, Rose has a dream of killing him in the medical clinic of the of his face. Thursday at 7 p.m. Subsequent to recognizing a blade inside an inconsistent Rose's vehicle, Desai calls the police on her. Rose drives to a remote, deserted previous family home as Joel attempts to find her. Wanting to deny the devil of witnesses, Rose stays in the house, where she finds the evil spirit appearing as her dead mother. It is uncovered that Rose had really found her mom in no time before she went too far and dreadfully disregarded her mom asking for help. Rose faces the evil presence, who transforms into a tall, disfigured form of Rose's mom. She sets the evil presence ablaze, with a light, apparently killing it and finishing the revile. Rose drives to Joel's condo and is ameliorated by him until she understands the evil spirit is taking his structure. As she escapes, Rose finds that she is currently at the old house similarly as the genuine Joel shows up all that occurred from the second she went into the house was a mind flight. Terrifying, Rose returns into the house, locking the entryway behind her. The evil spirit overwhelms Rose and rips off its own face, uncovering its actual structure to her, a skinless element with a long smile, containing a kind of Russian settling doll of smiles, prior to slithering into her mouth, having her. At the point, when Joel goes into the house, he tracks down Rose absorbing herself gas. Rose then turns, grinning, and lights up a match. As Rose sets herself ablaze, as yet grinning, Joel observes, weakly realizing that the revile has been given to him, 